Peterborough's Best Rock, The Wolf 101.5 with Kings of Leon and Crawl. All right, it's a quarter to five here at The Wolf. It's Brian Ellis. And I mentioned earlier this afternoon that a buddy of mine, Adam Gonche from Three Days Grace, dropped me an email uh, last night, said he was going to be in Peterborough today and uh, wanted to drop by and say hi. So uh, welcome, Adam, back into the studio. Thanks, buddy. It's How you doing? Good, man. It's yeah. been a little while since uh, you and the guys in uh, Three Days Grace have uh, have been in the studio here. And yeah. uh, Three Days Grace, you guys on a bit of a break right now, or yeah, you know, we got uh, we've we've had a bit of time off. We've been working on the fourth record, doing okay. some uh, some writing here and there, and um, yeah, we spent a long time, you know, out on the road, and we yeah, yeah we took a break. We came home and. and uh, it's taking a break for now. Yeah. Now, for, for anybody that may have just moved to this area in the last little while and doesn't realize it, I mean, you guys are from this area, grew mm-hmm. up in Norwood and mm-hmm. the Peterborough area, and you work jobs in this area, and you played gigs in the area, and it's pretty cool now to see, you know, what you guys have done. I mean, you guys are selling out shows all over the place. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. We've been, you know, we've, we've been really lucky to be able to do what we do, you yeah. know, and... and um, yeah, you know, just the the fact that we can cross the border and, and head into the States and play, you know, big shows down there as well as, yeah. you know, we're really, we're, we're definitely very grateful. Well, and it's interesting, too, you say cross over the border, because in Canada, I mean, you've had major success. But when you're talking about the States, I mean, that's a pretty tough market to break sometimes. But you mm-hmm. guys have done that, not only selling out shows, but headlining those shows, mm-hmm. yeah. which is cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's... uh it's it's cool. I mean, when we when we started and when we you know first got you know into the when we first got signed, we signed to a U.S. Re- uh, you know a U.S. record label, and that was very important to us, so that we had the support in the yep. U.S. You know, um, so that's part of the reason why you know we can we can you know we're fortunate to be able to play big shows in the U.S. and you know it goes well for us down there. But yep. you know we're proud to we're definitely proud to. Uh, to be Canadian. I'll tell sure, you that. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, it's Adam Gonche of uh, Three Days Grace, uh, and you guys are going to be going back out on tour soon, I guess. Yeah, actually, we uh, we start uh, we start a tour March 11th in Barrie at, uh, I believe, the Rocks Theater. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, and, in, in, um, yeah, we start uh, March 11th, and then we, we're, we're out for a few months. You know, we do some headlining shows down in the U.S. We actually go across Canada. Um, we go west. We hit Vancouver. We do a couple shows in Vancouver, and then we head down to uh, Seattle. Yeah. And then we, you know, we're going to spend probably two months in the U.S. at least uh, touring the U.S. And, and doing some shows down there. And when you guys are touring like that, it must be nice to be able to have that break to come back home and spend some time with family and friends. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And, we're, you know, for us, it's, it's at that point where we're able to do that now. We're able to, you know, when we first got started, it was one of those things where we... When you know when we put out our first record, we had to we had to work really really hard, and we were touring constantly for about two years straight, yep. you know, with no breaks. And uh, and yeah, we're we're you know now we're at the point where we can we can go out and we can tour for a couple months or a month, and and then take a bit of a break, you know. Yep. And and yeah, it's nice. And when you come back to this area, Peterborough Norwood area, is there like a few spots that you're like, man, I just can't wait to get back to see some you know a spot or a, or, uh, or a place or something to eat or you know is there something like that um yeah for sure i mean <clears throat> you know be, you know growing up in this in this you know in this town and yep. around here it's just i think it's more of an atmosphere kind of thing when i when i you know when i pull off the 115 and, and pull into town and just it's just seeing some old spots where he's to sure. hang out and just you know but there's a lot of great memories you know from this from this town and yep. um yeah i mean Good little good little coffee shops and restaurants sure. like to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah right for on. Sure, for sure. So I know that uh, you brought a couple of uh, buddies with you. Yeah. It's a new project you're working on. We're going to talk about that soon. It's a cool. new Peterborough band called Before the Curtains. So we'll talk about that. And uh, I thought we would take a quick break here. We'll uh, get the top headlines on with John. Come back, maybe play a Three Days Grace tune if you don't mind. And then sure. we'll come back and talk about uh, the new project. Sounds great to me. And we'll man. also talk about your Juno nomination, ah, all which right. is pretty cool. So we'll talk all about right. that. Top headlines and John coming up. All right, thanks a lot, John. Yeah, Adam Gonche, Three Days Grace in the studio, and uh, we're going to be talking about a, a new project that he's uh, helping to put together. It's a new Peterborough band called Before the Curtain. But uh, Adam, uh, just before the news there, I was talking about the uh, Juno nomination that Three Days Grace have, mm-hmm. and uh, wh- where were you when you when you heard that news? Uh, I was at home, I believe. I, I was at home, and I just, uh, yeah, I woke woke up and just checked uh i don't know something somebody reminded me that the juno noms came out yeah uh, yeah so i took a look and it was it's awfully nice to see our name on that list man. yeah group of the year 
Yeah. Now, now, will you guys be on tour when this is happening? Because it's March yeah. 27th, so you probably won't be at the ACC to. Yeah, we're actually not going to be there. Yeah, oh. I think we're we're somewhere in the states, probably yeah. like you know Little Rock, Arkansas, or something like that. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so if you know if uh, you know if we were fortunate to to win, we wouldn't be there to yeah. accept it. But uh, you know, there's a couple good bands in that category. You sure. Know? So I, yeah. we're, we're up up against some stiff competition hey, it's think, good to be you know? nominated right yeah it's great to it, be it's great to be nominated yeah, you know to, sure. to be in the, ca- the category is awesome yeah and just before i play uh one of your tunes mm-hmm. uh world so cold i wanted to mention as well uh, you guys at one point had met uh peterborough pete's goalie bryce o'hagan i'm not sure if you know bryce but i guess he was at one of the shows and, and you guys met him mm-hmm. he is a big three days grace fan have you heard about his goalie mask no okay so uh, peterborough pete's goalie bryce o'hagan he has a three days grace themed goalie mask with pictures of the band on his mask. Wow, that, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. So, you know... Bryce, some, that's yeah, great. Yeah, so sometime in the next uh, couple of weeks... I actually don't know him, but that's, uh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, cool. you, we, we should try to hook you up to actually see this mask right. oh, before yeah. you guys go back out on the road. Definitely. So, yeah, definitely. he's a big fan of the band, and he does that, and he's, uh, he's, he's cool. playing in net tonight for the Pete's, so that's, just wanted to let that, you know that. That's so. awesome. That's amazing. It's the yeah. uh, Pete's and the Bulls tonight, so there you go. Cool. So we're going to uh, play one of your tunes. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, uh, Lost in You is the is the new single. I just played that uh, a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. It's doing well for you guys, mm-hmm. and Life Starts Now is the album, and mm-hmm. just every time I, you know, think... How can they do better than the last song on the album? How can they do better than the last album? You guys have done it again mm-hmm. with Life Starts Now. So, right. and you're well, working on a you, new man. one too. Yeah, we we are. We're working on a new one. I think nice. we're about we're about halfway there. So nice. Yeah. Well, let's play uh, World So Cold. Uh, this is from Life Starts Now with Three Days Grace. We'll come back and talk about a new project you're working with. Yeah. Sounds great. All right, Three Days Grace, World So Cold. It's Adam Gontje of the band in studio right here on the Wolf. Peterborough's Best Rock, The Wolf 101.5, and Three Days Grace and World So Cold. That's off Life Starts Now, and uh, Adam Gonche joining us in the studio from Three Days Grace. And uh, Adam, uh, before the break there, we were talking about a, a new project that you're working with, sort of a, a sideline project. It's a, a new Peterborough band, I and mean, you can tell mm-hmm. us about that. Yeah, well, they're uh, they're called Before the Curtain, and, uh, you know, the cool thing, these guys are... Um, they're friends of mine. I mean, uh, Tommy Gardner is, you know, the bass player in the band, and, and I grew up with Tommy. Tommy was in my, you know, uh, the first band that, that I was ever in. Tommy was the bass player in the band. So, All right. very cool. And Adam Haggerty, uh, he's the, the singer, sort of creative force behind the band. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really cool how it all sort of happened. You know, I started a record label recently. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you no, know, really. Yeah, well, it was, <laughs> it was nice to, you know, have the opportunity to, to, to do that. Um, so I started a record label called Sludge Factory Records, and at about the same time that uh, that I was starting the label, uh, Tommy had sent me some work that these guys were were working on. And, okay. Uh, and the, the the songs are incredible. The band is incredible. The live show is incredible. I mean, everything 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 I heard uh, in the demos that I, that they had sent me was amazing. Yeah. Um, so it, yeah, it was a, for me it was a no brainer. I heard uh, a lot of talent and. Um, and so yeah, since then we've been we've been working together, you know, working on uh we've been doing some pre production, we've been uh you know, writing sort of, you know, helping out, you know, doing some co writing and going back and forth. Uh we're gonna actually record the record shortly. You know, we're looking at different producers at the moment. Um okay. so yeah, it's it's just one of those things. We're just uh we're getting the ball rolling and the uh the band's gonna probably be uh you know, have the record done within within the next uh, next few months here. I think. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I guess uh, over to you, uh, Adam Haggerty from uh, Peterborough. This is a pretty big deal for you guys right now, and you. But you've been working pretty hard. You were telling me that uh, you'd spent some time, uh, I guess, in Kelowna. Were you yeah. producing some some bands and things like that? Yeah, or what? I was. When I was living in Kelowna, and uh, basically, yeah, I was producing bands on the side to make money and uh, get the experience, just yeah. like my my old man here in Peterborough. And, Barry, uh, Barry, yeah, yeah. Bear Dog. Barry, yeah, and uh, I got, I went down to Vancouver to do demos. I uh, sent it off to Tommy, yeah, and he said it's great. I'm going to send it to Adam, yeah. and I think I got a phone call about two hours later. Uh, Tommy texted me about twenty times in a row, yeah, and he said he likes it. He likes it. Nice, and that was it. Yeah, the rest is uh, we've just been working, working hard on it. Now, so what are you guys doing right now? Are you sort of like uh, hunker down and bunker down in some house right now? Are you playing hard and recording? What are you guys doing to yeah. get ready for all this? Yeah, we've been. I I moved home in Chris at Christmas, and we've been in the house ever since. Yeah, you know, five six nights a week, just rehearse, 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 going hard. Yeah, yeah, we're working hard at it. This is probably a pretty uh, exciting time, Tommy. I mean, you know, geez, you guys. I've been playing, you know, all your lives, and all of a sudden now you've hooked up with uh, with Adam and uh, the possibility of uh, you know big things here. 
Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely. I mean, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, it's a dream come true for me yep. in a lot of ways. You know, Adam and I, uh, we went to high school together. Yep. And, uh, you know, we've been best friends since we were 13 years old, you know, started a band together sure. in high school. And uh, I never thought I would be making a record or, you know, even, you know, on a, on a record label with him. But it looks like uh, timing and it's everything. Gonna it's going to happen. It's going to happen, yeah. <laughs> the right project came along and... Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy too. When you think about all of the talent that we know that's in this area, mm -hmm. but how just now it's all starting to break out. I mean, you guys, mm -hmm. My Darkest Days, and now you've got the the, the new mm -hmm. band. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, when you yeah. think about it. Yeah, I mean, this. Yeah, it's it's really cool. There's a, there's so many talented people, you know, yeah. it, that you know play in town and and they never get the chance, you yeah. know. And it's just. Uh, it's just there's, there's you know so many untalented people that yeah. do get that chance you know what I mean and it's it's tough but uh, and I gotta yeah. say uh, I gotta say Adam I I love the name of the band too before the curtain that's very cool who come up with that Thank you. Uh, I think that was Adam nice <laughs> yeah, we, went, we well, went through a lot of a lot there was of choices a yeah. list of yeah of, is that right <laughs> yeah there was a, there was a lot of lot of names being thrown around and uh, yeah before the curtain just seemed to be the uh, it seemed to be the one. Why, why did it's, you? Yeah, it's got a good meaning. I mean, it's yep. you know, I think for us it means you know, do everything you want to do in your life before you know the curtain closes. Sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you All got right. a dream, go after it, and that's what we we've done and what we're doing. So okay, so you guys are going to be opening up for three days, Grace, at a show in Barrie, and then what's sort of the timeline after that as far as getting into a studio, recording, how long? That process. Well, I think while we while three days grace is on the road, the uh, the, the band before the curtains actually going to be in the studio working on some stuff. We're going to be we're, we're, we do have a co producer okay. um, that'll be you know producing um, as well. So it's going to be one of those things where we're sort of back and forth. So these guys will be in the studio. Um, hopefully, you know uh, March, April, May, sure. uh, roughly in that you know time frame. Um, and then we'll, we'll, you know, we'll take it from there. All right. Well, when yeah. you guys get a single uh, ready to go, uh, send it over to me, and I'd be happy to give it a play for you guys. Uh, sounds great. That's Thank awesome. you. Looking Thank forward you. to hearing it. So, to, uh, by the way, sorry, yep. off there. If anyone wants to hear uh, or see any of the band on Facebook right. uh, before the curtain, 